This is Rummy's Corner. Rummy's Corner. Beginning with the Boxing Day of Reckoning back in December, the lethargic heavyweight division suddenly sprang into action, in large part because of the efforts of Turkey Al Sheikh, where he has been bankrolling a lot of big fights that boxing fans want to see, especially in the heavyweight division. So with more top guys being a bit more active, the landscape is ever shifting. So who are the top 10 heavyweights today? Number 10, Martin Bacoli. This spot is certainly debatable, but I like Bacoli for number 10 at the moment. The 31-year-old Congolese contender last fought back in October when he stopped Carlos Takam in round 4. He has a few other decent victories, but nothing especially big that jumps right out. All the same, with a lot of other guys losing recently, and Bacoli on a 9-fight winning streak since suffering his only career defeat, he just makes the cut here at the 10th spot. Number 9. Philip Hergovich Hergovich is coming off of his first career loss against Daniel Dubois. The 32-year-old Croatian boxer has not faced particularly great opposition to date, in large part because he was sitting on his IBF mandatory spot that he just lost. But despite coming off the loss, he officially holds a victory over Zhang, which I still believe is one of the better victories for anyone on the lower half of my top 10. But the loss to Dubois was a setback. He is trending downward, and he will need to bounce back to maintain a top 10 spot. Number 8, Daniel Dubois. Dubois has won two in a row since losing his title fight against Alexander Usyk last August, where Dubois was the WBA mandatory challenger. The 26-year-old British heavyweight rebounded from the loss when he stopped Jarrell Miller in the 10th and final round last December, and then just last weekend, he had the aforementioned win against Hergovich, who was undefeated and highly regarded going into that one. Amazingly, less than a year after losing against Usyk, Dubois once again finds himself in a mandatory position for one of Usyk's four alphabet belts. This time it's the IBF. You seriously cannot make this stuff up. Number 7. Juggernaut Joe Joyce I am a bit reluctant to put Joyce this high, having lost two of his last three, with both of those losses coming against Zhang. The 38-year-old British heavyweight rebounded from those losses with a 10th round stoppage win against Cash Ali back in March. All the same, in recent years Joyce still holds two notable wins, the most impressive being his 11th round knockout against Joseph Parker in September 2022. But Joyce additionally holds an impressive win against Dubois, although that fight was nearly four years ago now, and with Dubois having youth on his side, these two are seemingly trending in opposite directions. Number 6. Ajit Kabiel The 31-year-old German heavyweight is undefeated in 25 contests, and his career finally seems to be gaining some momentum on the heels of two solid victories. Back in December, he thoroughly outclassed Arslan Beck Mahmudov to earn a fourth round stoppage. Then just last month, he beat another undefeated heavyweight contender when he stopped Frank Sanchez in round seven, which officially dropped Sanchez from the top ten for me. These two strong performances have elevated Cabiel's standing, and he is now the WBC mandatory where he can very much find himself in title contention in the not too distant future. Number 5. Zhang Big Bang Jili The 41-year-old Chinese powerhouse has faced elite competition in each of his last five fights where he lost a somewhat controversial decision against Hergovich. Then he went on to stop the juggernaut in back-to-back -back fights. After that, he lost a majority decision against Parker, and last weekend he scored a devastating knockout against Deontay Wilder, which officially dropped Wilder from the top 10 in my eyes. Zhang is getting older and has stamina issues, but he is a clever boxer with incredible punching power in both hands. Even though most of his career was spent in obscurity, he has been making a strong account of himself in big opportunities of late. 
Number 4. Joseph Parker After suffering a devastating loss at the hands of the juggernaut, the former WBO champion resurrected his boxing career with five wins in a row. The last two wins for the 32-year-old New Zealander were especially notable, where last December he completely outclassed Wilder, and then back in March he put forth another strong showing when he beat Zhang by majority decision. Overcoming adversity along the way and rising from two knockdowns to earn the win. In my humble opinion, excluding the undisputed world heavyweight champion himself, Parker is on the best winning streak in the division. Parker will undoubtedly get another big opportunity, and if he remains active and continues winning, it should only be a matter of time before he lands a title fight. Number 3. Anthony Joshua AJ is a former two-time unified heavyweight champion, and his career reached an all-time low after he suffered back-to-back -back losses against Usyk. At that point, Joshua had lost three out of five, but the 34-year-old British heavyweight bounced back nicely with four wins in a row. Those included a dominant victory against Otto Valin, a guy who was in my top ten at that time, and he also scored an explosive knockout win against Francis Ngannou. AJ also holds a victory against Parker, although that was several years back. Joshua remains a big star in heavyweight boxing, and with his popularity and his winning streak, he is unquestionably right back in the mix. Number 2. Tyson Fury Fury is coming off of a loss against Usyk, where Fury was unable to cope with Usyk's incredible skills, his high ring IQ, his quick speed and reflexes, and his overall heart and determination. And Fury hasn't looked so great in recent years, where he has not done himself a whole lot of favors outside the ring. But to date, he has only suffered one loss, and that loss was against the undefeated, undisputed world heavyweight champion. These two are scheduled to have a rematch later this year. And finally, number one, it's obviously the one and only heavyweight world champion, Alexander Usyk. Usyk's win against Fury made boxing history, marking him as the first undisputed world heavyweight champion since the great Lennox Lewis last held that distinction nearly a quarter century ago, and it also earned him the distinction of becoming the first undisputed world heavyweight champion during the modern four belt era. You can debate about some other boxers who may have missed the cut near the bottom of the top 10, and you can certainly debate the order of some of the other guys, but there is no question whatsoever about who is number one, and that's Usyk. So here is my final top 10 list for right now. In his last four fights, all of Usyk's wins have come against other boxers I personally have ranked inside the top 10, and more impressive still, three of those wins have come against guys I have ranked at number 2 and number 3, Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. So what do you think of my list, and what would you change about it? Please share your thoughts in the comments section. Thank you very much for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful night. This is Rummy's Corner.